Hello, everybody. Rosh and Bat. Oh, sorry. Back with another video. In today's showcase, uh, this is actually a showcase I already had recorded and done a while ago. However, I am re-recording because um, I don't do this often, but I decided to add a, another figure to the showcase. So that's exactly why. So I'll uh, should I show it off last? I'll, I'll just show it off in the order I made them. Yeah, let's do that. So first of all. This one kind of started it all off. This one I'm the most... And by the way, this showcase is superhero villains. Uh, this is the only Batman villain of the bunch, but I am really happy with how this guy turned out. And, uh, yeah, and if you... So this is Clayface, obviously, but what inspired me to make it was obviously the Z-Blob headpiece. The new headpiece from LEGO Dreams that kind of looks like this. It was originally introduced for video. However, video got canceled, so we never got the piece, but now we got it in Dreams. So, yeah, I decided, to, and everyone was saying, hey, this would be perfect for a clay face, so I decided to do it myself. Everyone says it's perfect for a clay face, but no one made it into a clay face, or at least no one that I, no one, I don't think anyone made it into a clay face yet that I've seen physical customs of, but yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. So you can see his droopy clay face, and it's great. He also has an alternate head, uh, so if you actually take off this piece, he has this alternate head, which shows him kind of slowly transforming into someone else. So, uh, yeah, I'm really happy with how Clayface turned out. Definitely one of my favorites of this showcase. But, yeah, let's put him off to the side there. And, uh, yeah. Second one I made is Vulture. I kind of made him for this... Sh well, what inspired me to make him was actually uh, another just kind of random Lego piece. So, I, about the... I'm putting the figures off to the, to the side for another showcase. Um, but... What inspired me to make this, these wings were from a Lego Harry Potter owl. It's one of the newer owl pieces, and it had the wings kind of going off to the side, and like, wait a minute, that's kind of the perfect scale for like a comic book vulture, so you can see kind of what it looks like from the back, right? Uh, but the way I made this figure is I first, I actually glued the wings onto the kind of back side of the torso, right? After that was glued on, and I kind of covered it up with some uh, milliput. Then I glued the arms, I cut the little weird connector of the arms, and I glued the arms directly to the wings, and then I kind of made it look like the wings were attached to the torso. So, and it looks really good. I'm happy with how it looks. I'm happy how his face turned out. It kind of looks old and creepy. Um, and yeah, then a lot of lines to kind of emulate that kind of comic book look. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. So there is my comic book vulture. Last, but certainly not least... Or maybe is it least? Is it the least? Might be my least favorite, but it's still really good. I really like it. And this is Ultra. Now I've seen several people. Now, like I said, this is also inspired by a piece, inspired by this kind of um, what do you call it? Ant Man piece. It wasn't originally used for Ant Man. It was originally used for I think Firefly. Um, but I decided to use it for this Ultron. I've seen several people make mock-ups where they've used this piece before. Um, several kind of like, um, like drawn up, like CMF kind of customs where people like Marvel CMF and they'll make a classic Ultron, but it just works extremely well. So I decided to make it myself and I'm really happy with how it looks. Uh, the face, I decided to kind of, I wanted to try to replicate some of that Kirby crackle. So you see in his mouth, he has a little, some like kind of white dots, some dark red dots, and then some also red dots kind of spilling out of his mouth. I really like that effect, how it looks. And yeah, his eyes are just kind of plain red with a white dot in the middle. I gave him this kind of red blast piece. And then also trying to make all the little metal bits look really shiny. So I gave it kind of a dark gray kind of shadow with a sharp kind of white highlight all around to kind of give it that kind of shiny look. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. And uh, yeah, so that, let's see all the characters together. And then, yeah, so this is my... Uh, a comic book villain showcase and yeah if y'all like the video feel free to leave a like subscribe if you if you want to do that and go watch the 2000 from mango also we do have a discord so go check that out link in description and uh yeah and enjoy the rest of your day okay bye bye oh yeah did i mention piranha gun i don't think i did